However, one patch tuning into today's second and or third video, depending on whether you're a channel member. So, we're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for this video. Uh, day 10 will take us to the 4th of November, and we'll be able to set up beyond that with the SNG FS and ECM ensembles. They are running to a radical weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next uh, four weeks, getting us into the second half of November. I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first video today was our 6 m UK weather forecast. Uh, with also the ECM WF42 day forecast exclusive for channel members. Check out those two bits if you'd like to do that. Like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much everyone for doing that for Gabs or weather vids. Thank you so much everyone. We're going to start off in the tropical Atlantic as usual at this time of year. Anyway, not much longer, but for the next week or two, we'll still look at this. So at the moment, we've got tropical storm Melissa giving maximum sustained winds of 75 miles per hour, not far off hurricane status now clicking on melissa and going here we can see that this is still forecast to become a major uh, hurricane in the next couple of days current position around here will be reached hurricane status at any time going to hit uh hit, hit going to hit jamaica as a major hurricane and also then move north in towards uh, Cuba as a major hurricane as well before curving out into the uh, Atlantic and uh, becoming weaker. Now, if we go to a uh, discussion, we can see that this uh, storm is predicted to reach Category 4 uh, status. Uh, actually, well, yeah, Category 4, but not all that far of Category 5 hurricane status. So, in uh, 68 hours, 60 hours, predicted to reach maximum sustained winds of 155 miles per hour. Goodness gracious, I think that's just as it's hitting um, Jamaica, perhaps. Uh, so, that's only two mile an hour off Category 5 hurricane status. So, um, well, goodness gracious me, definitely, Melissa, uh, going to become a beast of a storm over the uh, next couple of days. We'll then weaken down and uh, we'll um, go down to maximum, maximum state of 105 miles per hour um, at 120 hours. Melissa is one to watch. It's going to be a dangerous and deadly storm, devastating storm. And so anybody in that area, Jamaica, Cuba, uh, really should be uh, keeping a very, very close eye on the warnings from their uh, weather services. Take care, everyone. We'll keep you updated. Right, latest weather map from Earth, Northschool.net. So, so we've got low pressure, uh, which is, cool. of course, was Storm Benjamin. Nothing like Melissa, but uh, we did have Storm Benjamin a couple of days ago. That's now sitting over Scandinavia. And we've got uh, high pressure out to the west. The result is to bring in a northwesterly flow. So that's been cooler air uh, southwards with it. Section temperature is still holding up though, still sitting at 12 degrees, 12.0, uh, that's 1.4 degree above 61 to 90 on the average for provisional to the 23rd of, uh, uh, no, of October there. I think that's going to finish up as, a less, uh, for, as an 11 Celsius CET finish. I'm rushing because I'm running very late, so uh, let's crack on. Uh, these were GFS upper air temperature observation ensemble. Looking at Northampton today, red line, virtually upper air temperature average on Northampton. So below average with your upper air temperatures. They're going to lift up and go close to average when we get through into uh, next week. Precipitation wise, well, it's very unsettled from start to finish with loads of precipitation. Might be uh, wet but milder as we move into November. Temperature anomalies, next five days, 30th of October. Uh, uh, below average in north, near normal, further south, 10 to 14 day, uh, goes milder than average low precipitation. Anomalies, where we're going there, uh, for the next uh, seven days, from the 1st of November, near north a bit on the drier side, but for the 14 day, well, that doesn't actually look too bad, actually. So when's the average out to the west? A little bit drier, I'm still both down to south east. Maybe won't be as wet as we've been expecting. Right, let's go for chart data. So, latest you can make your run for midnight on Tuesday, looks like this. So, low pressure bringing unsettled dishes in off the Atlantic, plenty of wind and rain to come, and those wet, windy conditions carry on all the way up to uh, next weekend, that gets us Saturday 1st of November. Icon, again, bringing low pressure in from off the Atlantic, looking particularly wet and windy uh, there, Thursday through to Friday next week, with that area of low coming in from off the Atlantic, and the low pressure keep on coming, uh, another secondary daughter low is uh, down here, just there, 
and uh, that looks like it's going to go sweeping in from off the Atlantic, and again, bringing lots of wet and windy weather with it. Well, let's go from KMA, see what that one is doing. So, again, loads of wet, windy weather, low pressure sweeping in from off the Atlantic, bouts of rain in unsettled condition. And check that out, that's the 6th of November, bringing up a long fetch southwestly from the Azores and Canary Islands by then. So, we'll be turning exceptionally mild through the first week of November if that was to come up. But GFS midnight run, again, all much of a much this next week. Low pressure is in control and in the sense he bring plenty of wet weather in with it as well. And we go beyond that in towards the opening days of uh, November and up to day 10 with a low pressure still in control. But winds all the time coming from a southerly southwest direction, following ice bars back and coming from my direction. So, uh, mild but wet through the first week of November. And beyond that, well, low pressure keeps on heading in from off the Atlantic all wet to 10th of November. With plenty of rain to come. And then the uh, GFS6Z. So, where are you going, uh, Where are we going? We're going there. GFS6Z looks like that. So, again, low pressure, dominating weather, bringing lots of unsettled weather in with it. Bouts of rain streaming in from off the Atlantic through the course of uh, next week. Further uh, wet weather as well, with low pressure heading up towards day 10. Uh, beyond that, low pressures carry on heading in. So, that gets 10th of November. And it's still low pressure dominant. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe, thanks so much for your yeah, drop a comment, let's know what you think about this, all my latest content, and don't forget to tell friends about guys worth getting to subscribe too, for so much for doing that. Right, GM, again, with low pressure, dominating weather, quick one, this one, isn't it, quick, 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 low pressure, dominating weather, bouts of heavy rain, sweeping in from off the Atlantic, that's day 10, high pressure south, low pressure north, classic westerly scenario, and then the ECM rounds it all off, no pressure, bringing loads of wet wind weather in from off the Atlantic, for the course of next week, and into the weekend, uh, first weekend of November. Heading beyond day 10, well, the low pressure keep on coming and eventually end up going into a very wet, windy uh, pattern there. And that's the 8th of November, tightly packed ice bars, so heavy rain and gale force winds are lashing the country from off the Atlantic. You'll finish up with a rather cooler uh, zonal flow, uh, northwesterly uh, winds there. But if you're looking for some blocking you, and you're looking for like cold, easterly, normally, that's about as far away from that as you can possibly get. It's only November, though. Uh, this is my precipitation forecast based on my ECM run from Tometcheck.com. No, would you believe it? He's actually showing a few wintry showers there coming south, crossing good aware tonight. Not sure about that. Maybe a bit of hail mixed in or whatnot, but I doubt there'll be snow uh, across the central southern England. You never know, though, <laughs> but I doubt it. I think models off on one there. Tomorrow, wet weather coming in from now. It's going to be cold, wet days tomorrow. Pretty dismal, so that could turn to snow over the uh, Scottish mountains. And then uh, beyond that, well, we're into that zonal flow with bouts of rain. Heading in from Atlantic. That looks really wet. William Halloween. That's uh, next Friday. Lots of heavy rain coming in from the west. And further bouts of rain heading in as well. Check that one out. That's uh, day 10. Or heading up towards day 10, uh, I think, with some really wet weather across England and Wales. Goodness gracious me. Not sure why that precipitation anomaly uh, from the GFS was looking a bit drier because of it. It looked like it would be a bit of a deluge. But uh, anyway, we'll see. Um, these are the options table. With the ECM on top of day four, day ten, per se, many times gets us to be four from November 14. Moments of the ECM on times with low pressure, right up top of the tree, and 13 with high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north. That looks mild with southwesterly winds. We've got another 13 bringing low pressure in from the west, high pressure is to the east, that draws up a southerly flow, that's going to be mild but wet for the west in particular, and 11 again with low pressure to the west, high pressure to the east, again that's drawing up that southerly flow so it looks unsettled, I have to take day 10, but it does look mild, at least it will be mild <laughs> you may be freaked out, but at least it will be mild uh, two weeks time, means I've got to get to the 9th of November 21 members of the ECM ensemble, I'm trying to build up a Scandinavian high there, with low pressure out to west, that's bit of a battle going on, probably quite mild up to that point, Somebody wins, we've got 17 with low pressure, right up top of the tree, and then we've got 13 uh, with high pressure ridging up from the Azores, mainly dry and potentially very mild with that, driven winged up from the uh, southwest. CFSB2, these are the weeklies that we use for uh, JMA Friday. Yesterday, uh, no, we didn't do Jeremy on Friday yesterday, did we? Uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm off on a tangent, sorry about that. I think the last time, so these would have been, we would have used these, so hold on.
So we did take the 14th day yesterday, didn't we? That's right. So this will be a week as used yesterday for the 10th to 14th day. So we used it again today. Unfortunately, the CFS hasn't updated. <laughs> right. So, uh, well, click off now if you saw this or if you didn't watch yesterday, 10th to 14th day. This is fresh content. Um, so uh, week week one, 24th, 30th of October. Low pressure to the east. High pressure is out to the west. We bring the winds down from the northwest direction. We're always at the mercy of third party websites. If they don't update, then we don't have fresh data to go out. Uh, week two will be the 31st of October and 6th of November with high pressure ridge through west of Europe, mainly dry and very mild. Not sure about that based on short range model output we've just been looking at. Week three uh, is going to be the uh, 7th of 13th of November, low pressure over Scandinavia, high pressure towards Greenland, and winds are coming in from a north northwesterly uh, direction, north northwesterly direction like that. And then finally, week four rounds it all off. It's going to be the 14th or 20th of November, below pressure between Iceland and Scotland, and bring in uh, a westerly flow. And we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Drop a comment, let's say, wake up this and all my videos of content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Dow's Webbies. Again, subscribe to and thanks so much everyone for doing that. Now, tomorrow, I don't think it'll be a 6 a.m. podcast because when I get home for a second job at What for Gap, I have got to do the fifth winter update, which is delayed from last week or so. No, so many of you are disappointed. I let you all down. I did do winter update uh, last week. I'm so sorry about that. Um, but I'm going to try. Uh, well, I am going to get back done tonight, even if I'm up till four in the morning. I'll be doing it. So you'll see the uh, winter update tomorrow. That means probably won't be a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, but there will be the fifth winter update tomorrow. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your Saturday for this one. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.